Let's try and make coffee with Skittles. So today we'll be trying to coffee these strange ingredients. We've got Oreos, Skittles, Cheetos, even salmon and cream cheese. What we'll do is we'll run them through the machine here and we'll see what happens when you mix it with milk and what it tastes like. So let's get started, first trying the Skittles. So in order to actually extract any flavor from the Skittles, it needs to be a powder first so it can go into our little sort of machine thing. So let's do that now. Okay, so that worked really well. We've got a really nice fine powder that will run through our machine now. So let's get that set up and we'll see how well it works. So we'll just scoop the ground Skittles into here. And now we'll press down our scoop, forming a little puck in there. Now let's place it in the machine, tighten it up. Let's see what happens when we run it now. Is anything going to come through? Oh my God, look at that, it's so red. That's amazing. We'll do about that much, I would say. Whoa, look at the colour. Let's add the milk to our Skittles espresso. Whoa, look at that. Look at the colour of that. So let's give our Skittles coffee a try. Smells really sweet and it's got an interesting sort of yellow oil on top. Let's try it. It's actually not too sweet, interestingly. You do get a flavor of Skittle, but you don't get huge amounts of the sweetness like you'd expect. It does have this interesting sort of yellow oil on top, which I'm not sure what that's about, but overall it's pretty pleasant and I'm sure you'll get a decent sugar buzz from it. So it's got to be yam yam. Very cool. So we got a surprisingly good result from Skittles. Let's move on to Oreos. So starting with grinding the Oreos, needs a little bit of convincing. Let's scoop our Oreo mix in, press it down. Let's see if anything will run through. It's making the right noises. Oh, it's coming through. Whoa, look at that. That's amazing. Look at the color as well. Let's add our milk now. Whoa. Lighter than I thought again. It smells quite strong like Oreo, that cocoa flavor. Let's give it a try. Smells really strong like Oreo, but the flavor is actually a lot less strong than you kind of hoped for, but it's still pretty good. Overall, I think it's more good than bad, so it's gotta be yum yum. Very cool. Just before we move on to Cheetos, I wanted to see if we could turn coffee into a soda. So let's put it in the soda stream and see what happens. So let's fill up a soda stream bottle here. That will be about good there. Now remember, don't try this at home. So let's give it a few kshs. Let's pour it into this cup and see what it looks like. This is not as fizzy as I hoped, but I can see a few bubbles. Let's give it a little taste test and see what it's like. It's almost like these new nitro brew things. I guess it's quite similar, it's just CO2. Yeah, it's, the, the bitterness and the CO2 actually work quite nicely together. Very cool. Let's now blend the Cheetos. Now let's press it. bit crunchy. Let's see if it runs through. It's making the right noises again. Let's see. Oh, look at that color again. It's so orangey. I wonder if it's going to taste cheesy. Right, let's stop it there. Now let's milk the Cheetos coffee. Ooh. So let's give our Cheetos coffee a try. It's got an interesting uh, sort of oily thing on top. Let's try it. Smells cheesy. Again, it's really strange. The cheese flavor is quite strong, but you can definitely taste that corn. It's not bad, but it's not really good either. So I'm kind of neutral on this. I don't think it gets the yum yum, but I don't think it shouldn't get one. So it's just very cool. Now let's try and combine breakfast and coffee with salmon and cream cheese. So we'll just punch a hole out of the salmon here to better fit it into the uh, coffee machine. Now let's place it in. Let's put in a bit of cream cheese. So let's see how well it runs through now. Okay, it is running. Looks very thin though, whatever's coming out. Smells good. Let's stop it there. Let's pour the milk into our coffee here. So this is the salmon and cream cheese coffee. Let's give it a try. Smell it first. Okay, it smells very strong. Interestingly, tastes a lot less strong than it smells. It's still not very good though. I think fish and cheese, yeah, fine, maybe works in a couple examples, but overall just kind of is not a great combination. On top of the fact it's in liquid form isn't really great. I think I like the texture of it in a bagel or something like that. Um, so yeah, not really good overall. So this works on a bagel, but not so much in coffee. Not yum yum. Very cool.
So we saw some interesting results today. I have to say, I think the Skittles coffee was the best and the worst was probably the salmon and cream cheese coffee. Also, if it's not a real product yet, someone should get onto the soda coffee. It was actually really good. Like I've said before, we've got quite a lot planned for the next few months, but I'm always open to looking at new things. So as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe if you want more content like this and I hope to see you next time. Very cool.